Hi, and welcome to this short video on how to update your Modix to OS version 2. What will you need? Well, you may need one of these. The mug design and its contents are up to you. You'll need one or two of these, and you'll need an uninterrupted power supply whilst updating. So make sure all your electric suppliers bills are paid and up to date, and don't attempt to install the update during a thunderstorm. First, you'll need to visit the Yamaha site to download the update. If you haven't visited before, Google Yamaha Modix Downloads and you'll be directed to your country's site. Scroll down and under the heading Firmware and Software, you should see Modix OS Updater version 2. Once you've downloaded the zip file, unzip it, and inside you'll find PDFs for a supplementary manual of the new functions of the Modix version 2 and an updated list so you can find the new performances. It's important to note that all user memory will be initialized by the updater, so please make sure that you save all user data to a USB flash drive before performing the update. So press the utility button, make sure you are in uh, contents, store and save, and take it off performance mode and move it across to either a user file or a backup file. A backup file tends to be more uh, comprehensive, see your manual if you're unsure of the details between the two. So I'm going to save this, uh, the entire content as a backup file. So I'm going to select save as a new file. It's going to give it the name Modix Backup. Uh, I'm just going to uh, put the words my in front and we'll hit done. It's saved it away. So let's check that that has saved away. If I press the utility button again, uh, I'm looking at to uh, go to load settings, set to library file. I'll just move that across to backup file and there it is, my Modix Backup. So it has saved away safely. The reason I said you may need one or two USB sticks is that the update file itself, that's the one ending in .pgm, needs to be copied from your computer to a USB flash drive that's been formatted on the Modix and no other file should be on there. The next stage is to power off the Modix and connect the USB flash drive with the update file uh, onto the back panel of the Modix. So the next stage is to power up the Modix whilst holding the cursor up button like so and the utility button. So it's found it, so I'm going to release my fingers now. So once we get the message finish, please turn off. Uh, we can do so and remove the USB flash drive. After powering on the Modix, we have to execute the initialize all function. To do that, we press utility, settings, system, initialize all data. And you can see there it's been updated to firmware, firmware version 2.001. So all data and libraries will be initialized. Once you've done that, you'll be able to load up your old settings that you previously saved on the other USB stick, um, and you'll be able to enjoy the new facilities offered by Modix version 2, along with the new performances. I hope you found that helpful if you were at all nervous about upgrading. We'll be looking at uh, more features of the OS version 2 in future videos. So please subscribe if you want to be uh, kept up to date and make sure you click on the bell icon to be notified of new content. Thanks very much indeed for watching.